This is my last dispatch from Israel. I'll be leaving the country shortly. Uh, part of me is sad to leave because uh, I've been so inspired here. And I think we've done some really important work. There were people who told us uh, we shouldn't go. Uh, one, because they thought it was dangerous. But the second reason was they thought that Israelis were too preoccupied with the war and with their own problems and that any arrival of a foreign group would just be something that would be distracting to them. Uh, but what we found and what uh, was said to me over and over and over again uh, is that uh, people were very happy that we came. They thanked us profusely. Uh, and I think that's partially because of the sense of aloneness that everybody feels when they're suffering, that it's hard for other people to truly understand human suffering. And so when somebody makes the effort to come to Israel to say, we're with you, especially during times of war, that's so appreciated by our brothers and sisters here in Israel. It is so difficult to hear story after story of uh, people who went through the most brutal horror. And as I heard more of these stories day after day after day, uh, I confess I had mounting anger in me because uh, the sheer brutality of violating peaceful citizens uh, really affected me in a very deep way. Uh, I think we'll look back in Jewish history and divide it in some way in pre-October 7, 2023 and post-October 7. This country will never be the same because the whole Zionist ethos was built on pogroms, the likes of which we have experienced in uh, Jewish history and in Europe, would never again happen here. Uh, and that was the whole point of establishing the Jewish state. Uh, and that it happened and the state, in effect, was absent for a full day. Um, was uh, a uh, crisis in Israeli society that will take years and years uh, to heal. This affects all of us. This affects world Jewry. We have a stake in Israeli society. What happens here, in large part, determines what happens in New York and in London and in Paris for the Jewish community. The attack on Israelis was not simply an attack on civilians living five miles uh, and less from the border. Uh, this was an attack on Jews. We thought that we had, in the first part of the 21st century, outgrown these past manifestations of anti-Semitism. Uh, and that's why it's so shocking to us in the West to see these, this kind of explosion of anti-Semitism. Uh, and it's a rude awakening to us that, in fact, we haven't left the past behind. So I'm looking forward to seeing you back in New York. Uh, we have a, a delegation that's scheduled to come to Israel in March. Uh, and I hope that by then the recovery will have begun, both the physical recovery of starting to reestablish communities back that were destroyed back uh, near the uh, Gaza border, uh, as well as the emotional recovery that I hope you and I and all of American Jewry will take part in and support. See you in New York.